here at 775. We're going to go uh, install our pump controller. We got our tools. We're going to go down the woods. Where are we going, Elijah? To the We're going to fix the pump. And what do we got with us that's helping us? Reba. Reba. And Baxter, he goes on that stuff. So. Alright, we just can't drop it. We've got to be easy on the pump. So let's go put the pump in. Okay, we just, uh, it's about to rain. Not a good time to test this, but we put a Put the controller back in. Updated controller. I got the breaker off at the solar panel, so I haven't tested it yet. The moment of truth is, I don't think it's going to happen today because it's raining out. So, but there should be enough voltage to get power. I'm going to turn this breaker off and get my my help back to. <laughs> hey Elijah. Hey. Hi helper. Reba's been a good help. She helped me put that circuit board in, but she loves to be on YouTube. Where is she? She loves to be on YouTube. Um, anyway, as you can tell, Baxter, you're on everything. That's the Nat Geo dog. Oh, Baxter. Okay, um, hopefully we'll get the old pump going again. But as you can see, it's raining. And I'm going to cover this up, and we'll have to test it in the morning. All right. Just a little update on the solar um, pumping problem I had. I found my culprit. This uh, ground wire was uh, disconnected, and I've reconnected it. And that's just that was just a bad move on my part and uh, sloppy. So anyway, um, I put a new circuit board in the pump. It's uh, late in the afternoon, so I'm not getting any sun on there. You can see the sun through the trees but uh, it's, it's probably pumping a little bit but um, we uh, we pumped about uh, 600 gallons today so I'm gonna walk down to the spring again this is a direct drive system that has worked wonderfully for uh, many years and uh, the, the pumps down here I'm gonna pick it back up here well there's proof that she's back to running there's water coming out of the return line that means my upper tank is full so yes this column is full again I'm at the end of the day so I don't have a lot of a lot of sun but uh, green lights on got a new controller I had to put a new switch in and it's a different style than upgraded it from a pump so I was so glad though the boards look nothing like the original they did work and all the wires lined up with the connectors of the previous version so we got a little upgrade on this pump and controller and so hopefully it'll be good for another seven eight years of water pumping and uh, I just uh, again I like to brag on the solar water pumping works fantastic so and uh, <clears throat> that's that and I guess I I just want to say a few words while I'm walking back about uh, the Nat Geo show uh, last night and uh, or the previous night depending on when this gets uploaded. Um, overall most of the prepping community had wonderful things to say um, about uh, Southern Prepper and I and we thank you for that and uh, um, but uh, I've also had uh, a lot of a lot of comments from folks that uh, just don't get it, and that was to be expected. Again, our whole reason for doing that geo was to help other people, and so. Um, but they have total control, and you sign non-disclosure and uh, a form. So we took a risk. We're not exactly happy with how it turned out, but overall, they did a nice job filming. Um, it's just the uh, the slant again the reason we did it was to help people uh, not to hoard food or to um, just protect ourselves and we've had some pretty nasty comments um, so anyway you get that we all get it and we move on so keep plowing preppers and uh, again this is uh, so anyway just a little answer to the rants that I've heard um, to me, folks, it doesn't get any better than living off the land, using stuff 
technologies from the 1800s as you see my ram still running down there and uh, they wouldn't show that in that geo for some reason i don't know why but uh that was film but <clears throat> oh i'm losing my voice but anyhow um thanks for all the great comments from uh my subscribers and and um those that are subscribed to southern prepper one as well and so uh, we are going to continue on. Got a lot of neat things coming up with uh, making fuel fuels with the centrifuge and uh, more on the thermoelectric generator. Always more on well pumps and things. So uh, just uh, keep prepping, folks. We don't know. We we don't. We did not set any dates. I know there were some date setters on the show. <clears throat> we don't believe in that, and so we didn't. We're preparing for in uh, for storms, difficulties, economic downturns. You know, I just want to live like uh, my grandparents lived a long time ago. And but we live in a different culture, so there's some other things we've done in order to protect our family. Um, and so we've heard some just nasty comments, <laughs> and uh, we're just uh, we'll leave it at that. And so, but anyway, we're just here taking advantage of this re wonderful resource that God has given us in the sun. But uh, the one of most, the greatest gift he's given us is the S-O-N, and that's Jesus Christ. And with that, I will leave you with that point to ponder. And again, my channel's not about inciting any riots. Most of you know that I'm a pastor, and... Most of you know what I believe, if you read my profile or anything about me. So my goal is to prep people for eternity. People need to know about Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And people need to prepare for difficult times to protect not only their families, but also um, as many other people as they possibly can. So. Did they consider Noah a lunatic? Oh, you bet they did. But he still was obedient and did what he felt convicted to do. And so, uh, folks out there, if you don't get it, just, uh, you know, show a little grace. And uh, if you got questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. All right, just walking back. It's been a good day. Got my solar pump fixed. And uh, these are things that could happen if there was a really bad storm lightning strike emp who knows grid down um it's uh just want to make sure we can get water for our animals we have a cow calf operation and they drink a lot of water especially when it's in the 90s and they drink about 25 30 gallons a day and so i want to make sure this this stuff works so anyway enough of my babbling Appreciate you watching. God bless you all. Bye.